All right, Rich, you just won your 1,000th career game. Um, other than making you old, that also makes you the fifth coach in NCAA history to do that. Could you talk about you know, that accomplishment and uh, what you've done here? A thousand wins, that just means you've been playing, coaching a long time, Vince. And I'll tell you what, the much more exciting thing was we really played at a high level during that match. And ball control was outstanding. The setting was superlative. The swings were hitting balls all over the place, distributing the ball. So, you know, I guess if you have to have a thousand wins, you win it after a really fine, well-played match like that. And that's exactly what happened. We played very, very, very well. And, um, you know, with the three players now that we lost to injury coming back, uh, and we continue to gr grab their flow as the season progresses, I really, really like this team a lot. Um, Rich, one more question. You know, obviously, a thousand wins is a great accomplishment, but you've had a lot of great coaches and players, I'm sure, that have been through your life over the past 30 years of coaching. You know, talk about some about the number of people that have impacted you as a head coach. Uh, I tell you what, Vincent, you're exactly correct. The number of coaches that I've worked with, the superlative coaches, you know, this year's staff is just a classical example of how great that they are and how much they really add to the program, and they're responsible for so many of the wins. You know, I'm not responsible for the wins. It's the team that's responsible for the wins. The coaching staff is responsible for the wins. So, you know, this is something we just kind of say, okay, fine, a thousand wins, hunky-dory. But in actuality, it's the players and the coaching staff that's responsible for the success I've enjoyed. And I just have to be the guy that gets a thousand.